Alwyn Marcus Garage. Well, it's been a while since we saw each other. It's been a while since I stood in front of a camera. It's been over, uh, over two months, I think, or close to two months. And basically, the reason for this uh, sort of a hiatus uh, for my little Marcus Garage was just uh, vacation. Basically, both uh, me and Marcus uh, wanted to take a little break, uh, focus a bit on our uh, work, uh, you know, take some trips around, uh, you know, Norway, uh, stuff like that, just enjoy a bit of summer. But, uh, well, now we are back with another, hopefully, fantastic season of uh, Milo and Marcus Garage. Um, we are <laughs> sorry for you know not you really announcing our hiatus before, but it was uh, wasn't anything planned uh, like that. It was more of a uh, uh, very you know sudden decision that okay let's just take a break, let's just uh, focus on some things. So yeah, I've got some um, some uh, some information for you guys quite important, I think. Uh, but before before I do you know all the Informative, informative stuff. I'm just gonna try to share with you a bit of uh, at least uh, what we've been doing these past two months. Uh, so uh, basically, uh, I've been really, really, you know, trying to uh, evolve my business, and uh, I can very confidently say that I, I think I've succeeded in that. Uh, I've been getting customers every week. Uh, and I've been able to upgrade my, uh, you know, my tools, my garage equipment, uh, you know, tenfold or hundredfold uh, to, in comparison to what I've been doing before. It's absolutely fantastic. And you just wait and see where I've got stored for, you know, for for this, because uh, things are ordered and they're on the way and they're pretty, pretty, pretty cool. So uh, wait and see for that. Apart from just uh, you know uh, doing working with my business, I uh, did an awesome motorcycle trip, uh, which I'm gonna try at least perhaps to you know show like in a box or something here. Uh, I will see if I can manage to do this. I'm not a professional in this, and I actually haven't really done these kind of cool boxes before. But I will see. So. Basically, uh, my plan was to drive daily. Uh, my, you know, sort of a daily driver went to 5cc motorcycle from Bergen to Elverum, which is a city located uh, around uh, roughly 600 kilometers from from uh, from here. And 600 kilometers in a straight line, meaning that. We had to cross the mountains, we had to cross uh, gravel roads, things like this. Even, you know, usually when you think Norway, it's like, you know, it's an extremely developed country and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's totally true. Uh, the problem with, with the Norway right now is that, you know, it's summer and, uh, you know, road, road work is just booming, absolutely booming. So, so when I was driving, uh, to Elverum, I had to cross like maybe 20 kilometers, maybe 30 kilometers of gravel roads, which was uh, an absolute nightmare with Dalen having, you know, uh, you know, standard uh, asphalt tires, also prop, <laughs> pretty worn down. Uh, so that was a, quite an adventure. After that, we drove to Lillehammer, which is an Olympic village in Norway. Uh, later on, we drove to uh, Röhrs. Which is a uh, it's a mining village basically, and led to Hestam, which is a confirmed UFO sighting. So go Google that if you're interested. Uh, and then we drove back to Bergen through Dovrefjell, Jotunheim, which is the home of the giants from North mythology, the Jotuns. Um, and then we drove through Filefjell and drove back to Voss and Bergen and Amsterdam. It's been a hell of a trip, uh, it, I mean, I have never driven so much in my life, ever. It was uh, quite, quite, a, quite an achievement, I think. 
and uh, well, I'm uh, very happy, uh, very pleased with how the Dalem survived the trip. It had a bit of, you know, break breakdowns here and there, but nothing serious, nothing that couldn't be fixed in a matter of, you know, a couple of minutes and a screwdriver or so. Um, I did a big issue when I was crossing over the mountains where well, the carburetor on the on the bike just didn't want to you know uh, cooperate with me because uh, the altitude was uh, already so high up that basically the oxygen in the air was uh, too small. The air was too thin. It's you know just like climbing Mount Everest, you have to carry the, like oxygen and bottles with you because you'll uh, just uh, have issues with breathing. And you know carburetors are sort of like lungs. Uh, they uh, they need air. And the more concentrated the air is, the better. Uh, so yeah, that was a bit of a an issue. I couldn't go over 60 kilometers an hour, which is well roughly uh, 40 miles an hour, which is not very slow. Uh, so the trip took me a couple of days. Well, a couple of uh, quite many 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 days of driving. I would say the total days of just driving would be around four or five days driving uh, and well the trip was uh, 1735 kilometers long which I'll you know list up in miles uh, somewhere around here but I came home safely it was it was cool I was exhausted and uh, it was a fantastic trip uh, another important info I've got for you uh, sort of just you know uh, connecting uh, with the trip is uh, you know, when I was visiting my buddy Lucas uh, over in Elvira, uh, we agreed that I'm going to sell Dalen to him. So in a couple of weeks, uh, I'll, you know, we'll be saying our last goodbyes to to Dalen, and um, he will be off, you know, for someone else to enjoy it. Because if I honestly just outgrew it, both in uh, height and uh, driving, and actually riding experience. Uh, it's been a great bike, but it's, you know, it's time to say my goodbyes. But yet, not soon. Uh, another cool info is that I've got the uh, CX sort of running. I actually took my first ride, well, it's hard to call it a ride, my first couple of, you know, meters uh, on the CX on its own power, with no brakes, with only one foot peg, and uh, running on one and a half cylinder, which would be like, you know, when I was under, 20, uh, under 2000 RPM, it will run only on the right cylinder. When it crossed 2000, the left one will engage quite a uh, funny thing. Basically, good, good progress on the CX. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been great. Another important info that I've got for you guys is unfortunately, we will be seeing a bit less of Marcus. And the videos, uh, which I think you might have already, you know, figured out that he's been slightly more absent from the couple of latest videos. And um, well, the uh, the big reason that you know he's he's not quitting, you know, uh, helping, you know, working with me. Uh, but well, it's plain and simple. Uh, he just finished his uh, mechanics school, and he's going off for an uh, apprenticeship 